live look now at the Dan Ryan Expressway. Cameras have been installed to help track shootings, but drive further south, zero. Mayors in the south suburbs are now asking, what about us? CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live along I-57 in Country Club Hills. Jermont. Erica, I-57 is a main corridor for uh, those living in the south suburbs. And as you mentioned, yes, we have the real-time cameras here in Chicago, but some leaders here in the south suburbs, they're asking, you know, they, they're telling me that they feel a little slighted, even left out, because that technology is not here yet. And they also say they fear that the shooters are fully aware of that, and that leaves the drivers more vulnerable. The drive south on I-57 into the south suburbs is leaving people living south of the city uneasy. We've had uh, a mom to be shot on I-57 here. The Southland mayors? 16 of us that yeah. we meet on a regular basis. Yes. Every, every, every month. month. Are fed up with the expressway shootings moving out of Chicago and into their communities. It's leaving them asking, what about the south suburbs when it comes to cameras to catch those highway shooters? Because it looks like once you get past 111th Street, that's where the, the shootings occur. So far this year, there have been eight shootings along I-57. Last year, that stretch heading south saw a total of 39. Consider this, there were a total of 14 just three years ago, which is why the mayors of Country Club Hills and Markham say they need the same quick response from ISP for cameras, just like Chicago Expressways. Yes, we, we need them yesterday. We don't want to wait five, ten years from now. They believe the shooters know where the cameras are, and they now wait to shoot until they hop on I-57. The Southland is a place where people are getting comfortable. They know that once they get past a certain point on I-57, uh, that they can feel free to do whatever they, you know, want to do. State police have plans to install 200 more cameras, but they have not said when or where. We're trying to get it done quicker. State Senator Mike Hastings is working to help move along the process. I've lost my neighbors to senseless shootings. His neighbor, Denise Huglet, was killed back in August while leaving the White Sox game along the Dan Ryan. And a lot of these shooters come south, and it's time to hold them accountable, and the cameras are the right way to do that. Now, the hope with the support from local and state leaders, they can move this request along swiftly. The desire, get the cameras along I-57 before the weather warms up because they fear that's when the shootings will ramp up. Reporting live along I-57 and Country Club Hills tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Jermont, thank you.